Hello everyone and welcome to the map Dragon Scales. Joining me here in the upper left, the Blue Terran, the recent, the current Katowice champion, it is Olivera. And his Zerg opponent here in the bottom right, spawning with the red drones. A previous Katowice champion, it is Raynor. Can the current champion keep his title? Can he keep his accolade? Or will the previous tenant, this Zerg monster here in the bottom right, take it from him? Not too sure. Not too sure what's gonna happen. I just know these two. It's probably a good match. Probably a good game. <clears throat> They're both opening up. Dreadfully normal. Painfully standard even. We'll have to check in with the OV action cam to pass the time. How are you doing today, Mr. Overlord? How are you doing today, my beautiful viewer? I hope you're having a good day. Hope everything's been going fine, been going swell, even. Reaper opener from Mr. Terran here. That's a choice for your rally point, though. Interesting. Sending a scouting SCV across, getting that command center started. He, he got the rally point, he fixed it, all right, cool. On Rainer's side of the map, seeing the drones go out. Spawning pool gonna finish up. Queen starts immediately, it seems. Yeah, everything's looking fine. SCV scouted. Timing, health of the hatchery, nose, macro play. Not a 12 pool, so I think everything's going fine. Reaper heading across the map now. Get to see our dance. The lovely TVZ dance we all know and love. Couple Ling's gonna come out. The Queen is a little bit delayed on this hatchery. Only slightly, but in, in this game, every second can make a difference, can't it? Rainer's doing a great job keeping everything alive, though. Olivera not committing too far, not going up into the main. He's not going to be caught out of position by the Queens or the Lings here. Please don't lose this Reaper. I was just complimenting you. <laughs> Reaper going to be able to heal up the drone. Wants to go make a hatchery somewhere, but not really going to be willing to do that with the Reaper sitting right here, are we? Alright, Queen's going to force the Reaper to the other side. Drone gets to fulfill its drone life dream of becoming a hatchery. Why become a hatchery? Why is that a life dream for these drones? Oh, I don't know, because when you get to be a hatchery in Raynor's army, you get these beautiful lasses here to help take care of you, give you little larva eggs like a hat. They sit on your hatchery head. Who wouldn't want that? Come on. Zergling gets into the main base, gonna find the two Hellions that, uh, that no one should be surprised exist here. <clears throat> Extra racks before the starport? Yes, there is no starport in production. Going with an ever so interesting 310 with the quick third CC. <clears throat> the quick third CC is the real play here. How far does the OV get in to see it? Sees the extra racks making on the reactor. <clears throat> Sees the extra racks going next to the factory, so Rainer's gotta be thinking okay, you're going extra barracks, you're gonna have Marines. What's my play then? As a Zerg, you probably get your lair started, get your probably your baneling nest ready. Get that started so you can get your bane speed right as the lair finishes. We're gonna move up the tech tree and start spreading this creep. 
vision is gonna make a lot of difference. Yeah, I don't I don't really think Queens versus Rocks is an efficient trade there, an efficient use of time. We are seeing the Bane Nest come down. So things are looking like a really nice, just standard TVZ so far. Dare I say, this game might actually be pretty good for learning, pretty good for studying here. Ugh. This is this isn't exciting at all. They're just playing normally. Rainer's gonna see that third CC go down. He's what's the queen count at? He lovely queen count of ten. He's still making more. That's good. Double Evo timing. Be able to get those upgrades. Olivera taking his third command center. Olivera, I'm actually quite proud. You can see he hasn't lost anything. He has not committed hardly anything to its own demise in this game. He's recognizing maybe I don't need to get damage done. Maybe I don't need to be making myself sweat and stress over trying to delay the Zerg. When at the end of the day, if I just get my own stuff, I get my stim, my shields, and a bunch of marines, we can get the damage done later. We can get the damage done in a few minutes. I don't think... I don't think that's enough Marines. Yeah. Rainer, Rainer's gotta be thinking, you had a bunch of Marines there a minute ago. Where'd they all go? Medivac 1 gonna be picked off, reducing the healability of this force up here. The Lynx did get into the main base. They are gonna be cut down by the SCVs. Meanwhile, over here, the Queens are going to repel the Bioforce. Lings, they get a few SCVs. They killed seven in total, so respectable. Not too bad. Olivera now going to start to rally everything. Bane's speed just finished up, but we don't see any Banes just yet. He's just starting 18. He really deflected that with essentially just Queen, which is impressive, to say the least. Olivera going to come back in. He's got a Widow Mine. Going to connect onto a Queen, not even a kill, though. Second Mine in the back. Will it connect? Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, the patrol split. Makes it look like a swarm of bees. A few more SCVs killed off at this third base here. The Widow Mine. It killed three things, but apparently there was a bit more than three things there. Olivera says, I'd like to have some more. Goes back in with this time Marines and Hellbats. Decent Bane connections, that's why we don't put the Marines in the front. Over here, more lanes get in. This heated up quickly. Wait, did, did, he killed an SCV. Oh. Ooh. Got the rest of the lings. Over here, the drop has been being annoying. It's been getting some damage done. Nothing too critical, though. Has he killed any drones? He hasn't killed any drones. Oh. And meanwhile, Rainer is definitely getting some SCV kills. The Widow Mine's just not enough to actually protect the workers over here. Rainer killing 20 SCVs in that engagement. And it's starting to show. Olivera's drop play, Olivera's push over here is not getting the damage done that it needs, and it's not getting the reinforcements that it needs, which is arguably more important at this point. Rainer just coming in and swinging for 30 worker kills. Bio mine is the choice. Essentially, just marine mine. We've got Marines, Mines, and Medivacs. It's the good old M units challenge. That is a lot of queens. <laughs> He's back up to 10 queens after losing 9. When's the last time you made 19 queens? King Louie, good lord. Widow Mines getting some work done trying to defend, but this is definitely just too much Zerg. Oh, the third CC's burning now, too. Olivera gonna have to lift it, gonna have to try and save it. The medevac over here still trying to get anything done. But Rainer is just not letting up. 
Widow mines. Widow mines look like they're getting some work done. Three drones died. This one. Oh, there's two in here, actually. I, not even I saw that one. Liberator gonna come in. There was another run by over here that I missed. These two. Just taking swings at each other. Rainer says, screw it. Go back to work, drones. Liberator is going to be pushed away. Not killed, though. Not destroyed. And we've got some more Bane links. The Widow Mine is off just ever so slightly from being able to really stop it. More drones picked off somewhere, somehow. <laughs> the Marines are going to have to be picked up. It's just so many Zerglings. Rainer looking to be unstoppable in this game. He's gotten enough damage done that Olivera just cannot find his footing here. Ten drones have fallen. There's more Widow Mines. It's another mine drop. The forces are going to be pushed away. Okay. And these mines are actually getting some damage done at this point, so maybe Olivera can claw his way back in here. Rainer crossing that 70 drone count, though. That's a bit scary. And this is the force we have. We're going with the Republic Commando Marines. These eight guys, you don't mess with them. They got 2-2, two -two, right? Yeah. Decent position, but it's just too many Zerglings. Banelings rolling into this base again. Make a wall. Just... just anything. Something. I like the addition of the siege tanks, but it's just not enough to actually keep the base safe. What do you do? What is the play? You gotta try and lock down this base. Decent Widow Mine shot. You feel like you also gotta try and get damage done on the other side, though. He's at least trying to work in multiple areas. Unfortunately for him, there's enough queens to constitute a full-grown book club here. Definitely no damage being done there. 88 drones and hive on the way. I don't know. At this point, do you just lock your bases down and go mech? Say, I have not been able to get the damage done in the 13 minutes I've had. Maybe it's time to just play a different style. Let's see if Rainer will even let that happen. 16 more Banelings going to be morphed in. He's Oliver's gotten together a pretty decent push here. And he's got his plus three attack almost three quarters done. I don't think he can really afford to wait, though, and Rainer's setting up a decent surround here. Siege Tank's going to siege up a little reactively. The Marines going to be backed into a corner up against the minerals. Most of the Banes have been killed off, though, which is good for the Marines. Gun down a bunch of Zerglings, get rid of the Overseers. Able to push a little bit more of the Banelings. Can you stop them? Not, not all of them. Ling's going to get a better position here. Ling's also get into this mineral line, forcing the siege tank friendly fire onto the uh, SCVs. That fire sure is friendly. They're actually going to get all these Ling's. Wow. God, Marines are good. Marines are just silly. In a perfect world with a thousand APM, artificial intelligence level stuff. God, my Marines could be devastating. More reinforcements coming up. Widow Mine's going to push a little bit forward, too. This might be a pretty good shot for Oliveri. It's going to come up to the Banelings. And the micro is minimal. He's now able to start targeting down some of the drones here. Ling's going to go in for a surround. There's not enough Banelings, though. Siege tank gonna be picked off. And the queens are gonna be picked off. We're down to only six queens. Oh, the banes have to be cancelled. The marines getting on top of the morphing. They're gonna get the baneling nest. 
Olivera's last stand, last crusade. He's going up into the main base. He's going to get on top of some more morphing banes. The drones going to start clawing. Get out your claws and your pinchers. And it's over. Thank you, banelings. No, not quite over. It's not fully over, but essentially over at this point. Rainer's going to be able to clean that up, going to be able to defend. That was good. Was it good enough, though? I don't think so. Sadly. Sadly, I, I'm not convinced it was good enough. What's the follow-up? What can you use now that you got that advantage? And so far, Olivera's just making more marines and tanks. He's got 3-3 done at this point. But there's no... There, there's no step up. There's no jump up to, say, Liberators, for example, or Battle Crews, anything like that. Transition into Ghosts, even. Ghost Mech. Just doing more of the same makes me a little nervous. Because of the worker count, if you take note, 29 SCVs and plummeting. All the links burrow. Good try by Rainer. Stop the landing of the command center. Marine's gonna land just off the edge of the creep, but that is way too much Zerg. Gonna morph some Banes. Mm. Mm. Another drop on the left side over here. Medivac going to be picked off, but so is the Queen, which means this is no longer safe for mining. Rainer is going to get on top of it. It's going to be able to clean it up. And Olivera just going to tap out. GG is called Rainer, surviving the onslaught and getting plenty of damage done in the meantime. It came down to the worker count at the end there. Olivera just recognizing 26 SCVs is barely enough to have a platinum game, much less a tournament level grandmaster game. Nonetheless, very entertaining TVZ. If you enjoyed, be sure to let me know in the comments below, guys. Thank you so much for watching, as always. I hope you have a great day.